how's it going? It is Fangs, and welcome to an American Cooks British Stuff. Yes, that is happening on my channel here today. Now, I know my biggest audience is the UK. Um, and then like in that surrounding area, and I know last time I brought like the countries together and I left out Wales. I'm sorry, Wales. I love you guys. I did not mean to leave you out in the group of everyone that I was naming there. But I wanted to start this series because for one, I just want to do like a bunch of different things where I try out a bunch of different like English, Scottish, Irish, Welsh, whatever type of stuff. And um, I want you guys to let me know some ideas for other stuff besides cooking in the comments down below. If you do love this and you get to the end, hit the thumbs up button. I don't cook, period. So I don't even cook American food. Um, and I wanted to start with something easy, and I know it's not gonna be like that crazy, but it does take an hour. So we're gonna be doing bangers and mash today. Um, they said choose any sausage you want. I didn't have to like actually make the sausage. I don't have the thing where you can stuff the sausage, so I'm not gonna be making that, but we're gonna get started with this. We're gonna go all the way through. I might skip and cut through or fast forward things, but for the most part, you're just gonna see things cooking some English stuff, so let's get this going. All right, so I got the recipe off of a place that I'm not gonna say because then I'll be giving them love. It says the prep time is 10 minutes, but the total time is 50. Doobie might be coming in and out and helping me because um, I don't know how to actually even cut a potato, but I'm gonna try it on my own first. It said to get Yukon Gold Potatoes. They did not have that at my grocery store, so I just have potato potatoes. So I've already started off bad. Um, two pounds of fresh, okay, this, that was if you wanted to get the chicken sausage. I don't want chicken sausage, I want like sausage, sausage. Um, kosher salt, so I have all the ingredients. You can kind of see right here, most of the ingredients. Um, and then I have to like somehow figure out how to throw these together. So, uh, don't they give me a step-by-step? -step? Oh wait, here, preheat the oven for 425. Preheat the oven to 425. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here. This shouldn't be too hard, right? That's pretty high. I don't feel like I've ever cooked something on 425, but okay. It says, place a baking rack on a sheet pan. What's a baking rack? <laughs> what? The baking rack on a sheet pan. Arrange the sausages in one layer on the baking rack. Bake for 18 to 20 minutes until sausages are cooked. So I'm just gonna lay them on a sheet because I don't think I have a baking rack. So, you do Where? have a baking rack. Take a look down there. Mm-hmm. What do I set that on? I told you to set it on a sheet. I don't have a big enough sheet. Yes, you do. It's right below it. Oh, never mind. You got more. Look at that side. See if it's on that side. Oh my god, I have a big rack. I picked, remember, I picked this up when I was on my baking oh. show. Kit. Doobie is here to save the day, guys. So we have our baking rack. So this guy was on a great British baking show, which is absolutely excellent, by the way. That is a very good I was on show. a huge baking kick, and uh, I got all this stuff. You baked once. I don't have a standing mixer, and it told me to sit there and mix for 30 minutes. And after that one time, I was like, I can't do this. We have to and do a standing mixer. standing mixers are like $300. Yeah, but that's like the thing that you, we should have asked for. We didn't ask for it for a wedding gift, we, but everyone We did gets actually it. ask for it. We did? And yeah. We didn't get it? Nobody got it for okay. it. Okay, well. We got a uh, juicer instead. Would you like a weenie? You actually were probably going to go for it. Would these be gross, like cold? Like, I eat hot dogs cold. Would these be gross? Uh, are they fully cooked already? I don't know. It says fully cooked, yeah, so it could be fine. Yeah, they need to be fine. Okay. They need to be cold, but. So we're heating up our weenies. Are I wonder if them? the recipe you have is already cooked. Like fully cooked, or if it's not, I don't know. What we am I trying to say? can read the instructions on this. How does it say to heat them? It says boil in water for eight to ten minutes, or cook on a grill at two fifty for fifteen minutes. Yeah, why don't, why don't you just boil them? Because I was going by the instructions. Maybe of we, what? Can we just cook them in there on two fifty for fifteen minutes? Yeah, just do the four fifty thing. The for fifteen minutes. Yeah. Two fifty or four fifty. Four fifty. Mm -mm, do four fifty. I'm a, I'm a They'll make them crispier. Okay, so then we'll do the The more minutes. done, the better. Right, boys? <laughs> right, lads? <laughs> Don't know what you're UK! Get out of here. I'm out of here. Get out of here. Okay, so those are going to happen once that thing gets heated up. We're going to set them back here for now. Next up, what do we have? We have, I think this is where we make the, the taters. The taters. The taters. Okay, taters. show more. Meanwhile, place the potatoes in a saucepan with one tablespoon of salt. Okay, I need to, I think, actually cut these up. So, that's gonna be, I don't, we don't have a peeler, do we? That's one thing we need to invest in is a potato peeler. 
Yeah, we don't have a peeler. Yeah, how do we not have a peeler? Just put the skin in there. Just wash them real good. How many? Just, you're not really gonna have a bunch of potatoes, so if I only do like a few of these. Yeah, just do like half the bag. Okay. Um, half the bag? Okay, never mind. I'll do half the bag. Yeah, you can probably do like four to six. Four to six, okay. Well, don't be getting hyped over here. Just what you do is take the big, turn that water off. That's loud. What you do is take that big butcher knife, mm -hmm. and then you just cut off as much of the skin as you can, like slice it off. Chop, chop, chop. End. You don't like slice, don't slice down. Yeah, no, I know, but like slice as much yeah, as you can. Yeah, slice the best you can. And you can still leave a little bit of skin in them. Okay. I mean, it's not even perfect. They should pre-wash these before they sell them in a grocery store. That's disgusting. Just saying. They probably say they do, and they don't at all. They, okay. they have pre-washed a lot of stuff in the U.S., and you still get sick. So this one? Yes. And be plenty careful with your fingers. Okay. Those to play video games. I do need these fingers to play video games, so hopefully I'm able to do this. This is probably going to take a while. Well, it takes a little bit. Do what? It takes a little bit. We're going to do a speed through while I cut these up, guys. Do they ever sell these, like, already peeled? <laughs> what? What kind of question is <laughs> I mean, it would be nice of them to do such a thing. Okay, I've peeled the crap out of those potatoes. So now I gotta throw away these skins. Okay, place the potatoes in a large saucepan with one tablespoon of salt and enough water to cover the potatoes. Bring to a boil. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna I'm gonna boil the potatoes. The potatoes are getting boiled. Ow. Thanks, mom, for our new lovely pots that we have here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Fill it up with water. And then we need to do kosher salt. Do we have kosher salt? Mm -hmm. Yes, I thought we did, so I didn't get any. Pour some kosher salt in there. It said one tablespoon, but because I'm the master at knowing these, because I've been cooking for so long, I'm just gonna throw that in there and just, yeah, there we go. Okay, now we need to bring this to a bowl, which means these two need to get out of the way. And this needs to start going. Watch this, guys. Whoa! Yes! It's really cool. Set that there. Put that on high. Okay, so that's gonna happen. What happens next? Bring to a bowl and simmer for 20, bring to a boil and simmer for 20 to 25 minutes until the potatoes are very tender. So, Shall I wait until the potatoes are tender before I put the sausage in, or should I just go ahead and put the sausage in now? Are you asking me? Yeah. Wait. I'm gonna wait on the sausage. We will be oh, back in 20 to 25 minutes to see how the potato, oh my God, they're gonna get so mad at me for using that accent, to see how the potatoes are doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the bangers in the oven, and I'm gonna put them in there for a good 15 minutes. Why do they say bangers? I need to look up what bangers even means. Those need to still go for a while because I stuck my fork in and it felt like an apple and apparently that is not okay. I'm actually gonna look up the meaning. Why is it called bangers? Hey Siri, why is it called bangers? My web search turned something up for why is it called bangers? Have a look. Let's look here. Of course the Irish guy would know. Have a look. Um, sausages are called bangers. It's a universally accepted here in the UK that a sausage is also a banger, but not many people actually know why. Because Daddy. meat was in short supply, sausages had a lot more filler inside them. They were typically made from rust, cereals, water, and small proportions of meat. The water particularly meant that when you cooked them, 
in the pan, they'd pop and splutter, hence the term banger. Ha ha ha! Well, that kind of makes sense a little bit. Um, so this bangers and mash is not gonna have, I know that there's like a version that has like an onion sauce top on it. We're not doing that. I hope that's okay. Is that what? Because the one that I got the recipe for didn't have that. But now I'm looking at it, I'm like, ooh, that kind of looks delicious. I want my sauce. What does theirs look like? Theirs is just like a more, <sighs> might have to find, somebody might have to send me a recipe site because this might just be more Americanized. Although it says barefoot in London is where this came from, so. London. London. Okay. We're gonna let those go for a little bit longer. They're tender. Drain the potatoes in a colander and return them to the saucepan. That I do have. It's not the fancy one though, but that's okay. This is our least fancy one. The fancy one's in the dishwasher. Oh, give me that steam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Clean those pores out right there. And then you return once they've been drained. Little drain, 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 drain. Then. What? What on earth is going on in your head right now? You've got to add love to your cooking, otherwise, it's not going to be good. Okay. Once that's done. How would you know? You never cook. I've just started and I've heard. Okay, um, add butter. The, okay, so there was like this creme fraiche or something like that. We did not carry it at our store, so sour cream was like the next thing. So that's what's gonna be in here. Um, excuse you, stove. So I need to add a bunch of stuff. All of the stuff, all of that was, wait. Pepper in the pan, wait. Tablespoon in the pepper and beat the potatoes in the pan with a handheld mixer on slow speed. You can do potatoes with a mixer like that? Okay. So I need four ounces of this, which this is a eight ounce, so pretty much half. You can definitely do the hand mixer. Uh huh. But most likely you'll need to stomp them out a little bit first. Okay. So half of this is going in there. Um. I kind of want to set this here so they can see it. Maybe I'll just move this over. Okay. Um, and then this phone needs to stop turning off. Needs to stay on whenever I want it to stay on. How is a woman supposed to cook if it doesn't do that? Okay. You got your kosher salt, your half a cup of whole milk. Got it. Totally forgot about the whole milk, guys. You have it here. Where's the whole? measuring thing. What else is going on here? We have two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. I think I have those too. Might as well just get out all of my cookware. A teaspoon. A teaspoon. That's a tablespoon? Of the table? No, teaspoon. So two. Okay, so I need two teaspoons of this. This is gonna have to be opened for the first time. My Dijon, it's organic by the way. We made organic. Dijon mustard. I didn't make it. I purchased it, but still. Same thing. Okay. There. Oops. That did not turn out according to Okay. And then a little bit more. Okay. Probably gonna have to wash that out. Oh, everywhere. Oh, I knew it. Cooking is dirty. I think that's why I don't do it as much, because it's dirty. Boom. And then, just the salt, because we know. Salt it up. Salt it up. Pepper, same kind of idea. Get your ground pepper. You wanna pepper it up. We needed pepper, so thank God I'm making this video. Pepper it up. Okay. And then, how much butter? Boom, boom, boom. We need a half a stick of butter. The more butter in these, the better, I feel like, with mashed potatoes. But we'll go with, this is just a fourth of a, I need a half. So you take this huge 
This is like why mashed potatoes are not healthy, because look how much butter. This is unsalted butter. But look how much butter you throw in there. Butter is actually not that bad for you. You don't think so? I know it's not. I can have as much of it as I want on the, well, not really on the diet. It's the carb that's bad for you. That tastes good. You are disgusting. I need to know what it tasted like. And then some of this. A little bit of parsley thrown in there. A little bit of parsley to make it all right with the world. Yeah. If you have some other recipe for this, please let me know it in the comments down below. I know that people have said, oh, there's not much recipe that goes into it because it's just potatoes and bangers. But there is, all right. There is still flavor. <laughs> look, at, look at my cook station right now. This is what it's supposed to be like. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to start doing this. The bangers have to get out of here. They look, they sound like they're exploding in here. We've got exploding bangers. Don't let them roll off. Exploding bangers! Oh my god! We'll be fine. Oh god. The camera. Ow! They're popping me! done. Working on the potatoes. So this is how the bangers have turned out. This is how the potatoes are right now. Those taste pretty dang good. I'm not gonna lie. And then Dijon mustard made it really good. Okay, let me get my hand mixer out. Some stations. Okay, you've got my five speed mixer now. Um, I'm always really bad at getting this to work. We're just mixing it up, get the taters all nice and frothy. the potatoes. Let me just release these in here. <laughs> it does just shoot them right out. That's pretty cool. Now, what else needs to be done? Let's see. I think I did a pretty good job there. Now, to serve it says, serve a mound, or to serve, mound a generous portion of potatoes on a dinner plate, top with sausage that have been cut in half diagonally, sprinkle with fresh chopped parsley. Okay. I'm gonna make a serving plate. Doobie doesn't want to have the most of the potatoes. I just want a small bite. So this is going to be my plate then, so that they can see the full serving plate. Because he just wants a small bite. Because he's Mr. Diet. Mr. Diet. So don't use the... Don't use these whenever you have the non-stick, right? Because they'll mess it up. No metal on non-stick. Okay. We don't have much else besides that, so I'm just going to use a wood piece of wood. I guess I'm going to eat all that, and then I'm going to take up a weighting. I'm going to cut it in half. Let me move this over here so you guys can see me cut the weina in half. Okay. Oh, that was hot. Oh, this is hot. It's hot. It's hot, people. And you take that and you're just kind of supposed to like put it like that, I guess. And let's see what it has to say. Maybe I might put some more sausage. Two things of sausage. I want two sausages, I guess. So, um... Sausages, yeah. So we want two sausages for this one. We'll go, whew. 
We'll cut this one up. Camera probably can't even see that. Little bada bing bada booms. And Did you just cut yourself? I think I'm fine. It nearly happened. This is scary. This is why I don't cook, okay? I'm terrified of this. God, that was scary. Okay. So we're just gonna put this up here. And we got our bangers and mash. Let me put some parsley on top. Hold the phone. Don't be laughing at me, cutes. All right, I'm cutting off my fingers so I can feed you. Parsley sprinkle, and boom. See if we can see this in the camera right here. You've got yourself some bangers and mash. All right guys, so that was the video. I guess we're gonna need to try it. So if you wanna try a little bit of mine, Doobie, over here, that would be great. Um, is it the one with blood after you cut yourself? Yes, it's, this is actually the blood one, and we'll get you some. You didn't cut the sausage all the way. Yeah, I did. I cut it in the no, middle. No, you didn't. It's still connected. Okay. It said just cut it and have it. It didn't say it had to be fully. So you take your first bite here. How am I going to eat if it's not fully cut? You're going to cut your own sausage. You don't watch it. Is it actually okay? You can tell me the truth. So, your flavor for your, your mash is amazing. Uh-huh. But you have giant chunks in there. Oh, so it's like the, okay. not supposed to be chunky at all with mashed potatoes. Oh. Oh. You, you said be honest. I just tasted one of those chunks. Mm-hmm. Not supposed to be chunky. That was at my fellow. That was my fellow. So guys, this is my bangers and mash. You guys can let me know how I did in the comments down below. If it was nothing like you thought, let me know. Obviously, I'm probably gonna hear a lot about it. If you thought I did an okay job for my first try, I don't really cook. Let me know that as well. Hit the thumbs up button if you want to see more of this series. Let me know other things that I can cook in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, see you guys later.